Hey, what's up everybody, Eric Solbox today. I just got home a little while ago with this uh, new Atlas lathe. Um, this is a QC42. I used to have a TH42. You don't really see the 10 inch, this is a 10 inch lathe. You don't really see the 10 inch one with the quick change gearbox on it. This is what I always wanted. Usually when you find the quick change gearbox, it's usually on like the Craftsman version that's a 12 inch. This is a 10. It's got the shorter length bed, which I really like. They made this in a 54 uh, version also, which I wouldn't want. This is the smaller one, which is exactly what I'd want. Um, got just a smoking deal on this today. Um, but I didn't really realize what I had gotten until I got home and I started looking at this. So it didn't come with the three jaw chuck, which is surprising. It did come with the little, the typical little four jaw. Um, I thought this was going to be stuck on there. It came off really easy. There's a little bit of danded damage on the uh, the spindle. I don't know if you can see this little bit of chowder here. I'm not sure what that's about, but I don't think it'll affect anything. Um, somebody, so so the guy I got this from in the ad, it said it was his grandfather. It turns out it was his buddy's grandpa. Somebody really knew what they were doing with this tool because somebody went through it like the. Uh, Look how crisp the lead screw is on this thing. Like, I think it's probably been replaced. You could tell that the lathe has definitely been painted at some point because they primed the entire thing. I've had it upside down. The uh, the red primer, they didn't paint the entire thing, but they primed the whole thing. I'm not sure what that was about, but one of the uh, first things I noticed when I got there was that this was missing and luckily I found it in a box. I don't know if it just vibrated loose in the back of his truck. So the actual hardware that goes down through there is still missing. The dauber for the uh, the white lead is pretty much always gone on these. My TH42 still had it. This just has a piece of wire sticking out of it, but there actually is some white lead still down in there. Uh, did not get a drill for the, uh, I think this is MT2. Um, the tailstock's all in decent shape. Pretty much everything is there. That's an easy fix. The uh, lead screw looks to me like somebody probably replaced it. The only issue I'm finding so far with this is that the uh, um, this is really kind of sticky. And I think maybe this behind this grub screw might be an adjustment for that. I think it might be just a little bit too tight. Could be wrong about that, but I'm going to have to look into it. I did flip the lathe up and looked at all the gears inside of the gearbox. Usually the shafts on these wear out too, and it makes it so that it's hard to slide for the adjustment. Man, all the gears, everything under there is just in awesome shape. But here's the really cool thing about this tool. Somebody really knew what they were doing because... This doesn't have Zamac on it anymore. Somebody has replaced all of the gears with really good quality gears. I have a feeling this lathe is gonna be really quiet because when you engage this, like usually with the Zamac, they're all worn and there's just a shitload of slop in these. Um, this lathe isn't that way. As a matter of fact, check this out. So there's a full set of change gears that came with this. I didn't realize that they were just in a box, so I didn't find these until I got home. Um, check that out. They're all brand new, never even been messed with. Oh, and uh, an extra set of back gears for it too. All the back gears on that thing are all in good shape. Here's the, uh, the pulley system. Unfortunately, it didn't come with the original Atlas motor, which my TH42 had. The motor's been replaced. Um, there's no drum switch on it either. It's just the on and off. So I would probably want to put a drum switch on it. So really why I'm making this video right now is because it came with a couple of things that I don't recognize. Um, I don't know what this attachment is. Basically, um, it looks like it goes onto the compound and this spins when you turn the handle. So if somebody could tell me what this is, I would appreciate it. Um, this looks like a little Palmgren vise that came with everything. This came with everything. There's a shitload of tooling and stuff. Most of that stuff I put away. Um, this looks like it goes onto the compound also, and I don't know what it is either. So if somebody could fill me in, um, say a uh, plate for probably what was the three jaw chuck at some point. Um, gonna guess that he was gonna replace that, just never got around to it. Gone now, so, you know. 
uh, a bunch of sterile stuff up here. Didn't come with a quick change uh, tool post. Um, came with a bunch of lantern stuff though, which I won't use. Um, got the uh, steady rest. What else did I get? Um, just a bunch of like weird tooling stuff, like a bunch of reaming stuff. Um, like about half of this stuff came with it. Um, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, just a bunch of like miscellaneous, just weird shit. Um, whole bunch of files. Not sh really sure exactly what this is. Um, looks like it should sit on a surface plate and probably do something. Uh, backing plate or something. I don't even know what that's about. But anyway, it came with a bunch of stuff. Looks like this lathe is going to run and run well, probably. I'm going to guess that uh, somebody really cared about it, whoever did this. So whoever the, uh, well, why don't I just drop that? Um, luckily, it wasn't a gear. Um, somebody's grandfather really cared enough to uh, have gone through that lathe clearly and uh, dialed everything in and then bought this set of change gears for it. So anyway, I'll let you guys go. But if you know what uh, these two attachments actually are and could let me know, I'd appreciate it. Eric Solbox, talk to you later.